Welcome back. If you're proud to call yourself a Tucsonan, tell me, where did the name Flowing Wells come from? Well, if you know the answer, nicely done. And if you didn't, that's okay because neither did I. Luckily, local authors Kevin and Marie Daly have gone to exhaustive lengths to put its history in a book, and they join me now to talk about it. Thank you both so much for being here. Hi, Thank Alex. you for having us. Such a pleasure to see you. So, Kevin, starting with you, let's answer what I asked at the top. Where did the name Flowing Wells come from? Well, Flowing Wells goes back to 1895. Frank and Warren Allison uh, built um, or bought the ranch, um, the original Flowing Wells Ranch. Actually, they established the Flowing Wells Ranch uh, in the Flowing Wells area, roughly bounded by Miracle Mile to Roger Road, mm -hmm. Romero Road to Fairview. Of course, those roads weren't there, but uh, there, and there's a picture of the Flowing Wells Ranch. Um, the, they uh, <clears throat> started by buying uh, uh, the Warner's Lake at the base of A Mountain. Mm -hmm. And they ran that for a while, but then they bought the, the ranch property and they uh, built a canal from A Mountain to the Flowing Wells area, and they named it their Flowing Wells Ranch. Now, one thing I need to tell you is, where did Flowing Wells come from? Yeah. It didn't come from wells that flowed in the Flowing Wells area. It actually came from uh, water that bubbled up from the Santa Cruz area, right. Santa Cruz River area, and it was canaled to the, to the Flowing Wells Ranch. Well, there you go. Now you know. You can be a proud Tucson, and now that you know a little bit about its history, but going back to your own uh, personal history, let's start with a little backstory about how you came to live in Flowing Wells. Um, we met at Northern Arizona University, and while we were s studying, all Kevin would talk about is Flowing Wells, and he loved <laughs> Flowing Wells, and how he flourished here. So when I um, switched majors to education, I thought, well, I'll do my student teaching in Flowing Wells. I loved it, and we've stayed, and we raised our kids here. And through that, we wanted our neighbors to get to learn, know each other. So yeah. uh, along with the Flowing Wells School District, we started the Flowing Wells Neighborhood Association and Community Coalition, and that was uh, in 1985. 1995. Oh, I'm sorry, 1995. <laughs> okay. and, uh, 85 we, was a good it, year too, though, by the way. It's that. still going strong, <laughs> and um, we just want to improve the infrastructure and resources available in the Flowing Wells area. Well, and that's something I love so much about Flowing Wells in this book is that it highlights the generations of people that have called it home, that have really loved it. And Kevin, you even found a family connection going back to the 1800s, right? Well, uh, it was it was, it was was so exciting. Um, my my uh, stepfather, who a lifelong family friend, and uh, I was lucky to have him as a, uh, a stepfather, he had an uncle, um, Uncle Henry, who started the Peterson Dairy way, way, way back um, in 1904 in the Flowing Wells area, um, and then um, and expanded. It was a, it actually served the entire city of Tucson. But uh, he he um, came in 1904. He married Mamie Boucher, who was um, a local local girl, who <clears throat> in 1896 in the first Flowing Wells schoolhouse was a student. So I, I was so, and, and Henry was also on the Flowing Wells School Board, which I'm also uh, the president of the Flowing Wells School Board. Currently. Yeah. And I've wow. been on the board since for uh, 18 years. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was so amazing. And my father, which, oh, we love him dearly, he, um, he didn't, he, I don't think he knew. He knew, he, told, he always told me about the dairy. Yeah. But I never knew that he was on the school board and I never knew that his wife went all the way back to 1896. That's beautiful and, and this idea of the school sort of being the center of Flowing Wells, being it a is. shining, a shining example of what a school district should be. The proceeds of this book are gonna go uh, to a really special place. Tell us about where the proceeds are gonna go. Um, we've decided to, that um, all our, pros, our royalties will mm. go to a Flowing Wells scholarship and we're calling it the Legacy Scholarship because I found writing this book that we, um, it's important to leave a legacy for the next generation. Such a fitting name, and flipping through the book a little bit, it, it is really full of, of that rich history, these images that we're seeing scroll by, uh, incredible descriptions of those times, um, and also there's some great events coming up, uh, one in particular, the first one, which is gonna be very special in a lot of ways. Tell us about That's it. That's right, oh, we're <coughs> good. Uh, on the cover of the book, uh, you pull up that book, yeah where uh, the kids are doing the broom dance. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a wonderful dance. It's kind of like uh, musical chairs, but you dance with the broom and uh, the boys, uh, the, then the person, drop, the person in the middle of the crowd drops the broom. Yeah, there it is there right it is. there. Yep. We, it drops the broom and then goes and grabs a partner and then everybody grabs a partner and whoever's <laughs> left dances with the broom. Yeah. And we're gonna recreate this event at Barnes and Noble 
on October 6th at, from 2 to 4. It's going to be a huge celebration uh, of the Flowing Wells community and, and of our friends um, of, of the Flowing Wells community. We're going to have an opportunity for our longtime alumni, longtime residents, even to participate mm -hmm. in this event and share their history. Um, everybody's going to be identified with name tags, and we're going to we're going to make it just a really fun time. We'll have books for sale. We'll have uh, posters of of some of the pictures really blown up. Uh, yeah. Just it's going to be really fun to to uh, review our history. Well, this all pieces uh, so well together. Did you want to say something? The Laguna Elementary kids will will read, read, read the it. Laguna That's the right. Laguna Elementary kids. Yeah. Yeah. What a great way to sort of honor uh, again the legacy of Flowing Wells. A great way to kick off this new book. I can't wait to read it and check it out a little more in depth. But I want to thank you both uh, for writing it and for being so passionate about Flowing Wells. It, it, we need a lot more of that. So thanks thank for you. being here today. Thank you, thank Alex. You. Absolutely. Now, Flowing Wells is coming out on October 1st. You can pre-order now or learn more by visiting visiting ArcadiaPublishing.com. And take a look there on your screen. These two dates in October are a couple of ways that you can purchase the book, meet the two authors, and have your copy signed.